Prashad just came to me and he was like, Si sabes que un rato mirándote. Almost, man. So romantic. It gave me the chills, you know. Vamos a entrar a Vestige Barracks. Remain. La magnitud de, de la destrucción es impresionante. Yeah. No. ¿Qué nombre? David, you were seeing some really interesting facts. Oh yeah, the the new barracks were used to to store the artillery and machinery in the bottom floor. So the two uh, upper floors could be used uh, as a defense mechanism for the bombing and artillery of the Germans so they could collapse and everyone was safe on the bottom floor and they had to withstand five days of defense there uh, against the Germans. There's like one bottom floor? Yeah, and the bottom floor, that's where they stood. But there's like holes to shoot outside. I don't know what they're doing. So right that lasted for five days with like <laughs> the defense lasted. I don't know what they did with it later. Es el canto de pañar, así dedica estrellas del cielo.
Yeah. Ahí ahorita, ahorita algo que nos venimos de acá, ya que voy ahí atrás están como que el power station, gun position, outpost. Es como que el, el regreso tiene que ser mejor un día, por ese lado. El regreso, como que le estamos acá, le damos recto y le comenzamos bien. Um, some kind of uh, task uh, which you have to um, fulfill, uh, some kind of uh, rules and values order which you should defend, uh, defend for yourself and for others. That the words, uh, that what uh, Jean Paul II says. Oh. He was visiting the okay. Vester Plata in '87. And he was speaking for uh, young Polish people then. Uh -huh. And as you know, uh, in that time, Poland, uh, Poland was under communism time. So, uh -huh. so the Westerplatte is a big symbol for Poland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank, you very much. Thank you very much for the translation. We're going inside, yeah, Armine. No, I mean that. Uh, it's a three hour yeah, that was the guided place. We're going there, obviously. <laughs> oh my god, you're really filming it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 